Shopify coming soon page tutorial for beginners step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. So if you're building your Shopify store and you ever look at your store and you're like, hey, I want to keep on building and I want to put this on hold. However, when you put your Shopify store on hold, so if I go on ahead and put this on hold over here and I just copy my store over here. And I'll show you guys what my store looks like if I access it. So this is what my current store looks like. And this is not the screen that you want. So if you want to customize your opening soon or coming soon screen, I'll show you guys step by step how. Now, the first thing to do is to know whether or not your store is closed. Because if you have opened it up directly from your control panel, it might show you this screen. This is only because you've logged on. So if your Shopify store is not password protected, all you have to do is log on to your Shopify dashboard, click on online store on the left panel, then click on preferences. Once you click on preferences, scroll to the bottom, and then you will see the option of password protection. So you can restrict access to visitors with the password and just tick this option off and then click on save. Now, once you do that, we can begin customization of our coming soon page. So to do that, click on online store and then click on themes. Once you click on themes, click on customize over here. Now, a lot of people say, hey, this is leading us back to the home page. How can I actually customize the coming soon page? Well, it's not that difficult and you don't have to install any crazy plugins to customize the basics. So all you have to do is go into the top panel over here where it says home page. Click on home page and then scroll to the bottom of this drop down. Once you do that, you will have a section called others. Click on this section and over here in this section, you have a page called password. Click on this section over here. Now, once you do that, this will actually open up your password protected page so in this page you can get started with building or customizing you know the basics of this page so the first thing you're going to see is your top header so as you guys can see our header is following scheme one and i can click on change and then choose scheme six which is the scheme that i previously created or you can choose any scheme that you like you guys can see there are multiple different options let's say i want the gray one over here then below that you have a basic large banner so i want to customize this banner so to do that i'm going to first off click on the heading over here and then on the left side i can start editing the text so add coming soon to you and then you can choose the size that you want for your text then you can click on the bottom text over here and edit it from the left as well so i'm going to click on generate text and i want to extend this launching soon and then let's say i want this to do it again launching soon experience luxury like this and i'm just going to generate some bottom text like this and i'm just gonna cut our first line coming soon an extraordinary luxury experience and then if i want to change you know maybe the extraordinary luxury part i can select that and italicize it and make it bold if i want and you also have some paragraph options where you can choose the sizes as well as bullet lists and numbered lists now you can also choose the body style if this should be subtitle or body text now once you do that you can click on the back icon on the top left panel now as you guys can see there are three basic blocks so then you have the email form where people can submit their email so they are notified as soon as you launch so you can click on the email form over here and you can you know further customize this and add more now you can click on add section over here to actually add more sections however keep in mind this is a coming soon page so you don't want to make it look too cluttered now on the top, we have our simple header. And now that we have customized our basic section, we want to actually add an image to the background. So to add an image to your background, simply click on the background over here and you will see the options of background image on the left panel. You'll even have image overlays, banner heights, as well as content positions. So I'm gonna click on select background image and I'll choose a background image that I want to use. So let's say we want to use this image over here. 
and then I'm going to click on done. Now, once I've selected my image, I'm going to click on edit and I'm going to move the focal point to the top. So the image is recentered to that option. Now you can even do an overlay. So, you know, the image is darkened. So your top section is a bit more visible and then you have your banner height. So let's say I want to adapt this to the image and make it larger like this. If you want this to be a small banner, you can convert it to small. You can make it a large banner as well, but I'm going to go with a small banner like this or maybe like a medium one. I think that fits better. And then you have your content position for desktop. Now you can change this for every device. So first off, I'm just going to edit the image over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to move our focal point over here like this. And we can go on ahead and change your image as well or select a different image that fits a bit better for our store so let's say it's this one over here or maybe something a bit more colorful so taking this panel i'm gonna click on edit like this i think this looks a bit better now after you have selected your image you can choose an overlay if you want and now i'm going to click on the back option on the top left and you guys can see you have your basic header in your container now if you want to add more info about your page you can click on add section and you can add you know multi columns multi rows if you want to redirect people to like your blog or to your pre-existing store to maybe sister stores you might have you can add them from here there's no limit to how much you can add on these welcome or password protected pages however keep in mind that it's gonna look cluttered if you add too much so i'm just gonna make sure that our sections look pretty nice and neat now let's say i want to add something to refer people to my google sites blog so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go click on add section and then i can add a rich text over here and then on the bottom i can add over here visit our blog till then and then i can link my google blog so i can click on over here find all the latest trends and styles and then on the bottom we have a button and this could be visit now and this could lead people to our google page instead so it's just a visit now button and i'll just open up any random website so let's say it just goes to this movie link over here and then I'm just going to paste it over here and this is what is going to be opened up. Now I'm going to click on save over here and just like that our password page has been edited. So to show you guys I'll click on online store over here. And we're just going to open this up in a new window. So you guys can see what it's going to look like to a random customer. So you guys can see this looks like a really nice page and if they click on visit now they would be led to you know the other page. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to customize your coming soon page. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.